So I'm driving on the class, and Tyler was on his moped. I don't know what he was looking at. He just, I think he just, it doesn't mean he t bone someone put the back of the car. He just, he just hit the back of the car. I'm like, oh my god, what just happened? And I, I had to like double take because I'm like, he really just hit the car. So like, I got out and like offered to help him. Like, he was just bloody and everything had some stitches and I was like T-bone. But like if you really think about it, if that's gonna happen to anybody on the team, it's gonna be T-bone. <laughs> like <laughs> and T-bone, he'll probably say the same thing, but you know, I'm glad that Ty that Tyler is definitely recovering from that. But I was like, T-bone, what are you doing? Like, what are you working with? I'm glad that he's okay now. Should it be anybody? T-Bone, he's an interesting guy. He's, <laughs> I laugh every time I think about him. T-Bone's probably the funniest person on the team. He's so goofy. He, he, just, he just brings that, he brings that, you know, like once in a lifetime energy that you just don't really come across often. So just T-Bone. I'm glad that he's on my team. I'm glad that I that me and him are super tight because he he brings a laugh out of me every single day. So like, you see you saying that like you got to continue with the kid. Oh no no, that was just a gift that he bought for me. I think Joe said he got him his. So I think that was the, the gift that he bought. Like who just thinks about them like a kid by him? That's just that just has T bone written all over it. You know, we've, I think, regardless of what happened, I think that's just how we are as a team. And, you know, we stand by each other through thick and thin, through the highs, through the lows. So the, uh, just Brian, just having him go through that, we really had to hold him extra tight. Just, you know, be that backbone for him and his family and just show just our love and support for them. But, you know, I'm glad, I'm so proud of Brian, just the way that he's, he's handled everything. Because, you know, that's, that's, I couldn't even imagine that. That's just so tough, just go through that. But, you know, he, he never, he never, he never complained or anything. He always showed up every day and just fought and uh, just, you know, you know, fought for his little sister and just, you know, paid his tribute to her and just how he plays and just how he carries himself. So I love Brian. I love the family. Proud of the way that he handled himself and the, how he continues to handle himself. He said he was like 40 pounds of water weight, but that didn't really think happened. I mean, yeah. what, what did you see? I mean, could you tell that he was obviously like not physically 100% up to shape? You know, kind of earlier in the season. Did you see a point where he kind of hit back to normal? Honestly, I didn't see any any drop off or anything like that with Brian. No. I never once heard him complain. Nothing like that. You know, he just again he just showed up every day. And I know, of course, that he was sick at one point. He couldn't he couldn't go. But the, like when he did go, it was just like normal Brian. Like, he just he just showed up every day and worked. And, you know, just when you have a guy who's committed like that and he's committed to the team, you know. Especially a leader guy, a leader, a guy who's a leader like Brian. You know, the sky's the limit for the team and what you can reach. Talking about being a leader, is it locally or is it just you know, actions that you follow? Kind of like what makes him a leader? I would say both. You know, he's definitely vocal, but when you just watch him work, you know, it's just it's un it's uncommon the things that he does and just the energy that he brings and just what he does. Like he's just a physical specimen and just how big he is and everything. So I would just say he's just a leader in all aspects of the game. What's it been like trying to prepare for Tennessee speed? Yeah, we just a lot of conditioning, uh, got making sure that we're in shape because they're the fastest team in the country, fastest team that we're gonna, ever going to see probably. So just probably just, just staying in shape, uh, getting in shape, uh, creating stressful situations in practice because it's going to be stressful in game. So you try to create that strain in practice so when it shows up game time, you're ready for it. But just uh, trying to handle the speed and if we control the game, we'll, we'll be good. Is there anything you've seen on film that, that teams like Georgia and even South Carolina were able to do to kind of slow them down? Yeah, so a lot of pressure and, uh, you know, we got to force incompletions because when they complete passes, that's when that's when they get their tempo going. So we got to, when the ball's in the air, it's either got to be ours or it's got to be on the ground. So that's just, that's been the main focus, really just get the ball and uh, just slow down the tempo for them because when, when they're slowed down, it's a whole different story.
their receiving core, I guess, outside of Jalen Hyde, I don't know. What, what's your impression of those guys? Yeah, fast, yeah. explosive. You know, they'll they'll take the top off a of defense on any play. So we gotta we gotta be on our P's and Q's and just stay ready because we never know what they're gonna bring and they have an explosive run game as well. So they complement each other extremely well. So as long as we're on our P's and Q's and uh, we just handle the speed, we'll be good. What's your impression of the way what has to step in for, for Trent now as, as, as a first year player and start this game? So what impresses me about Wade is just how mature he is. You know, obviously he has all the athleticism in the world, all the all the um, the mental side for Wade is it's all there, but just just, you know, his mentality with everything, it's, it's, it's really impressive to me. Just when you have a freshman, especially a guy who came, who came in the summer, not just, he didn't come, he didn't early enroll, so he came in the summer, and it's just, it's, I'm so impressed with Wade. He shows up every day and works, and works his tail off at that. So I'm, I know that he's ready for his, uh, for his opportunity, he's gonna shine. Any 